Four quick updates on NEO. They delivered around 6,000 vehicles in February of 2022, increasing overall by 9.9% year over year. They had delivered about 9,000 vehicles in January last month, but this is due to the fact that the manufacturing plant was suspended for about six days in the first week of February. Mio delivered in total 15,700 vehicles in 2022 in total, and the cumulative deliveries reached around 182,000. Next, US listed Chinese electric car company Mio is set to offer its shares for trading in Hong Kong on March 10th of this year. However, unlike many US listed Chinese stock offerings in Hong Kong, Neo is not raising new funds or issuing new shares in this listing. Instead, the company is listing by way of introduction, which means a portion of existing shares will be available for trading in Hong Kong. Next, Neo is trading near its 52 week lows and it may head a bit lower given all the craziness that's happening in the market right now. But one thing is certain. Rising energy prices and of course the ongoing war is going to make EVs even more interesting to prospective buyers than they were a few months ago. Lastly, the second largest US pension fund bought NEO very recently. That isn't an aggressive hedge fund or a tech focused mutual fund. It's a very conservative hedge fund with more than 325 billion in assets.